So, as I've said from the very beginning, the whole reason why I feel very strongly about the post office scandal is because of the sub postmasters themselves, you know, as human beings and how they themselves and their families have been affected by the terrible scandal, the, the travesty that has been the post office scandal. And on the 30th of November, just before Jan Elsing's testimony, the post office inquiry paid tribute to a former sub-postmaster called Mr Tom, or Mr Thomas Brown, uh, who passed away in November 2023 without having the opportunity to see justice done. Just for a bit of background before we jump into the inquiry and their tribute to him, this is what his MP, Kevin Jones, the Labour MP for North Durham, said in the House of Commons in December 2021. My constituent Tom Brown was accused of stealing £84,000. He paid that back and then the post office, after two years, dropped the case after bankrupting him. The only reason they settled for a deal and paid out, paid the money is that the post office used £100 million of public money to table this legal bid and put pressure on each one of them. Mr Brown helped to get to the truth and people like him need fully compensating even if they get back what they allegedly owe. Like the 84,000 in Tom's case, that was never missing and is still in the post office's coffers. And sadly, whilst he did receive apparently small amounts of compensation um, over you know the many years since this happened to him, um, I think sadly the 84,000 pounds from his case um, is sadly still in the post office's coffers to this day and obviously I dearly hope that that actually gets passed on to his family um, obviously it's too late for him now but his family deserve that money I thought it'd be interesting to provide a bit more background because they only briefly touch on this in the inquiry's tribute to him he's from the North East and the Northern Echo actually covered quite a moving tribute to him on the 12th of January this year saying Stanley Sub Postmaster died before Christmas without justice and you know wow I mean, never mind the post office scandal it sounds like he absolutely went through hell and back even before this but they said a heroic Sub Postmaster who fought off armed robbers five times only to be wrongly accused of stealing £85,000, died before Christmas, so we'll never see justice. Tom Brown from Stanley, who won a bravery award for fending off gunmen during a string of terrifying raids at post offices during his 30-year career, said his life was ruined when he was charged with theft. He was part of the group which launched legal action against the post office after hundreds of people were prosecuted over shortfalls, caused by the faulty Horizon computer system. North Durham MP Kevin Jones, who fought Mr Brown's corner for 13 years, said poor Tom died before Christmas. It is very sad. They took him to court, but on the morning of the case they abandoned it, and in the meantime, he had gone bankrupt. Mr Brown, who was in his late 70s when he died, was charged with two offences of false accounting after an audit of his post office in North Kent and Newcastle in 2008 concluded £85,000 was missing. The father of one, who spent decades working for the post office in various locations across County Durham and Tyneside, was suspended. In 2010, after struggling to pay the bills for his shop side of his business for over a year, Mr Brown was made bankrupt. He had previously been awarded a Certificate of Valour by the post office after repeatedly being threatened with shotguns, having a handgun pushed against his head, and a knife held to his throat in a series of armed raids. In April 2017, after the case against him was dropped on the day of the trial at Newcastle Crown Court, Mr Brown said, I was accused of taking £85,000, but I said, don't be stupid, there is something wrong with the computer. The software they, that's the post office, had was not registering all the transactions, although it was giving people receipts. Mr Brown claimed he lost £500,000 overall after his remaining assets were seized and auctioned off. When he spoke to the Northern Echo, he said that he wanted reimbursing for the money that he'd lost, but the most important thing is for them to admit there was something wrong with the computers. I just want an apology. 
Mr Brown himself gave evidence to the Post Office Horizon IT inquiry in February 2022 saying he felt violated when his home was searched for the missing cash. He recalled the Post Office helpline but was repeatedly told the transaction would correct itself. He said, I knew I had not taken the money but I had no idea they had the power to do this. I would like to find out who was responsible once and for all and to see someone take accountability for the wrongdoings of the post office. Mr Tom Brown was put through hell in more ways than one. And it's tragic that it's taking so long to resolve this scandal that sadly he and other sub-postmasters who were victims of this scandal have tragically died before seeing justice done. And it's why it makes it even more important that justice is done. I would like to send my condolences to his family and his friends for their loss about someone who's had numerous articles written online about him where he's described as a lovely person. This was someone who suffered armed robberies at his post offices five times. Five times. He's tried to defend his business and by extension the post office. Indeed, he was recognised for valour by the post office for his heroic efforts, which are beyond any call of duty. And even after being suspended, terminated, made bankrupt, pursued through the criminal courts and lost half a million pounds, all he wanted was an apology still. An apology. That's the least that he deserves. Let's jump into the inquiry's tribute to what sounds like an absolutely amazing, heroic, fearless and dedicated man. Uh, good morning, sir. Can you see and hear us? Uh, so you're um, on mute at the moment, I think. Yeah. Yes, I can. Thank ah, thank you very much. Uh, before you call um, Mr Singh to give evidence, Mr Beer, I'd like to say a few words. Many of you will know that from reports in the media that a former sub-postmaster and core participant, Mr Thomas Brown, recently passed away. Mr Brown began his career as a sub-postmaster in 1979 or 1980, he was based in the northeast of England, and over very nearly 30 years, he managed and owned post office branches in that area very successfully. An audit in 2008 purported to show a very large shortfall. That alleged shortfall was based upon data produced by Horizon. Mr. Brown was suspended and shortly thereafter, his contract with the post office was terminated. In due course, Mr. Brown was declared bankrupt. The post office began criminal proceedings against Mr. Brown, which reached the Crown Court. However, my understanding is that the post office came to realize that there was no realistic prospect of, success, of successfully convicting Mr. Brown of any criminal offence, and accordingly, before the trial date, no evidence was offered and Mr Brown was acquitted. Mr Brown was a claimant in the group litigation. He received a modest amount of compensation as a consequence of that litigation, and I understand that much more recently he received an interim payment under the group litigation compensation scheme. However, Mr. Brown's compensation award under that scheme had not been finalized prior to his death. The inquiry team and I would like to extend our deeper sympathies to Mr. Brown's family and friends. From all that I have read and heard about Mr. Brown, he will be greatly missed. Thank you, Mr. Beer. Thank you, sir. Um, I know that Mr. Brown's family um, couldn't be here today to hear you say that, but they are um, watching, each of them, um, from the northeast in Newcastle, 
and I think in due course they're to apply to become core participants in the inquiry? Well, um, one can never be certain of anything, but I imagine that their grounds for becoming core participant are compelling, Mr Beer. Thank you, sir.